Now here we are again at Tunica, Mississippi, mid-April, for the Rivergate Festival, a two-day event of cooking the wild side. We're gonna cook duck, geese, make our famous Buddy Marys, and try our hands with these pros in cooking some ribs. I hear you. When David Melton asked me to come down here for this cooking contest and entered us in this thing, and he hooked us up with Randy the Rib Man. Now Randy is no stranger to this competition. He's done it on many, many occasions and has won several times. And now I'm gonna show Randy how I make my ribs on Cooking It Wild style. So you take me the onions and I want you to cut them up. Just like that. All right, then we'll break up rings, see? Now the thing you don't realize is onions will break up the membrane on the back of the ribs and also tenderize it. Now we put on the famous Dale seasoning. All you do is just love it and rub it, baby. A secret cook it to wild style seasoning, coarse ground black pepper, and go ahead and smush it in to get it into the meat. And now here's that famous shake from the Rendezvous restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee. It's very important to place the ribs on top of a rack to keep the grease drippings from getting into the meat. And the secret of the whole thing is you gotta put the crowns going up, you see? Mm -hmm. Crowns up, like that, all right? Now you take onions, and you just put onions all down through here. Now go ahead and start building your pan. Onions, ribs, onions, ribs, onion, ribs. I used to cook these on the weekends when I was in the, at the lake, and I'd go, oh man, you ought to open a restaurant. I said, I've been in a restaurant business my whole life. My father had great restaurants. Well, oh, that's the best ribs I've ever had. I said, okay. Then from there, I did open a restaurant. Just give me, sorry, give me some foil. Foil? Yeah. We got to get a couple of these on here. And you put it on real tight. This is almost like a steamer, you know? It's really, it's really crazy. Because at these places, you can only use wood or charcoal. But we got it up at 325, and that is absolutely perfect. Put it right there. Close her up. See you in three hours. The most fun part of this whole contest was going around and meeting the contestants and saying hello to all our neighbors. Just like good friend Ronnie, he's such a character. He's hiding, but he won't hide from a Bloody Mary. They do this all the time, all around the country. They live for it. That's what I told my wife. When I die, put me in a smoker, but leave the vent open just in case. Just in case. <laughs> This is one guy we really got to watch out for. I guarantee you he's going to place. You got any kind of secret that you do your stuff that uh, you tell anybody or you don't tell anybody? I try not to tell too much. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Now we start cooking the bacon for our side dish for the duck. The andouille sausage, get it smoked, chop up the onions real fine, chop up the andouille sausage, small pieces. You melt some butter, add the onions and the carrots. I use the slithered carrots, it's easier, they cook quicker. Saute them down. When they're sauteed, nice and tender, add your bacon and your andouille sausage. Now take your beans, that's a white bean, number 10 can, a black bean, number 10 can, and now take your andouille sausage, your bacon, your carrots, the onions, Saute down and add them to the mix. Add some chicken broth. Stir it really good. Here we go, just put a slider right there. Right, right Let it sit there and we gotta watch it so it doesn't burn and stir it in a few minutes, okay? You know how you keep a turkey in suspense? I'll tell you next time I see you. <laughs> ah, I got you there, buddy. Now, these people are funny. They love my jokes, and I just love his cooker. Look at this cooker. Can you believe this thing? Did it work out pretty good? Oh, yeah. That's, the great thing about it is the, the insulation in it. Like I say, right now, it's 250. You can put your hand on it, not feel any heat. Nowhere. Anywhere? Mm -hmm. Now, you said you're going to build me one of these, right? Uh, one day, yeah. That took me four years to finish that one. 
Four years? He asked my wife. She's the one with the dog in her shirt. That, that's funny. I don't care who you are. What's your chihuahua's name? Joey. I thought it was like an alien or something coming out of your body. I didn't know what the hell that was. <laughs> kind of scary looking there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy, what's your name, huh? There you go. Rebecca's got her salt. Oh, I smell good, don't I? I've been cooking all morning. <laughs> Now these guys are really cool. This man cooked for us the night before. He had a big tent, a lot of his friends, and for the competition, he really cooked a strange dish. <laughs> What'd you do for anything but? Uh, barbecue beans and bologna. Barbecue beans and bologna. And now where are you from? <laughs> Straight on. Straight on, okay. About 20 minutes from here. Uh, I got you. And now let's start making our garnish for our Bloody Marys. A little celery, olives, celery, and olives for our little swistle stick. Zing Zang is our base, little celery salt, olive juice, black pepper, and Dale seasoning. And now, the favorite part of all, vodka. Take a half a lime and a half a lemon, squeeze it in here. Now here comes Ronnie to check out our Bloody Marys. You want Bloody Mary? Man, yeah. There you go, Bubba. Man, I Good luck to you today, my friend. There you go. Oh, man. You got enough liquor? Man, yeah. It's good. That it is good. It is good. All right, now I think it's time for us to go check in our Bloody Marys. We got a few minutes, right? Yeah. You going to wave at me when it's time to come? Let me see. I mean, it's no big deal. Hold on a minute. All right, it's no big deal. I can come back. <laughs> well, you can tell I'm the first one in line at the liquor store. <laughs> hey, what the hell are y'all open? Ten. Oh, okay. It's ten somewhere. 